printed off the, the plans for the, the Rutan Long Easy uh, aeroplane. I designed this one for use with the Power Up 4 power module. Comes on a couple of A4 sheets. First sheet's got the, the main wing section. I've just drawn half of it here. I need to flip it over and cut the second half out. The two fins that go on the ends, the canard wing that goes across the front here, a little nose piece, and that's just a setting gauge to get the, the hedral angle on the, the fins. Second sheet has the main fuselage section. It's got a split line through there uh, that fits into the the slots on the on the wing and the the slot at the front is for the the canard wing to go through and then the slots on the very front are for the little nose piece just to give it a bit of extra strength. It's best to cut those three slots out after if you've, you've installed them because you have to hold these two halves apart. It's uh, it's solid up to that point, but uh, you have to sort of split the two halves and slide it, slide it over the the wing into these uh, these holes, and that's just the left and right side uh, of the fuselage that uh, mount flush with that edge there and that edge there. What I need to do now is cut out all these templates and uh, fit them onto this piece of A3 sized, uh, I think it's 5mm thick foam, foam cord board. It's got uh, paper facings on both sides. We'll take these paper facings off most of the parts uh, for lightness. The only part that I'll leave the, the paper facing on is for the canard wing, just to give it a little bit more crash resistance. It usually hits, hits the canard first. The canard is easily replaced, but it just slots into the, these slots here, slides through, and uh, easily replaced. It's not glued in, just, just a slot fit, a push fit. We'll just glue the parts together with some hot melt glue, and that'll be it. So, here the scissors, cut out all these pieces. And then transfer them onto the, the foam board and cut cut the foam out. Just got myself a nice new self-healing cutting mat. The old one was uh, rather beat up. So it's got imperial marks on that side and pretty pink metric ones on the back side. I've now cut the templates out. Uh, that one will print there that way and flip over and give me the full wing. Uh, I'll need to do a second fin in the space over there. Everything else should fit on the A3 sheet. So I'll now put it on the, the A3 piece of board over there. I'll just uh, stick it down lightly and trim the outlines and I'll put the cutouts in as well. I've marked out the outlines in pencil, maybe not too clear here, and I've uh, started to put the cutouts for the, the various bits and pieces in before I uh, cut the profiles. So the slots are all cut in, although I haven't taken out the, the pieces. So next I'll just cut round the profiles and then I'll strip the paper off. The paper doesn't come off this uh, foam board very easily. It's uh, well glued on so I need to soak the board in, in warm water to peel the, the surfaces off. Some some of the foam boards you get you can peel quite easily but uh, this stuff is well glued. That's the pieces uh, cut out. And now you can soak the paper off them. Just trial fitting the parts in, in place. Same 
gently ease these parts apart so you don't crack the front of them because it's only hinging on that little bit there a little bit there and it goes in these slots I've forgotten to cut these slots I forgot to mark them on my drawing I'll go back and put them on the drawing in the centre section I've got slots at the back, slots in the middle, slots at the front and again carefully prise it apart and slide it off then the wing tips will go on with a bit of a dihedral on them which uh, yeah goes that way <laughs> they'll just glue on the hot melt glue you could put them on the top of the wing or you could put them on the end of the wing there's also a 5mm step there so it can conveniently fit on the end I'll probably put them on the top less chance of me knocking it off I think <laughs> put that the right way up I want to go out the way so next job is to Get my hot, hot melt glue gun out and glue these two bits on and then glue the centre sections on. Right, get my hot melt glue gun out. It should only take about 20 seconds. Seal on the other side. Enforcement. So you need to glue the top surface first. So I've got glue there, there, and there. I'll keep it fairly straight. the power up unit that will sit in there. I've got one of my 3D printed clips for the back. This just replicates uh, what you'd normally get in the power up accessory kit. Uh, fits onto the square rail. So I've printed a couple of those up. Uh, put another one on the front. Here, so I know where to stick my tape on. What I'll do is I'll reinforce this rib on a bit of clear tape. It'll save these these parts digging in. Pinch down slightly. And I'll 
going to find some clear tape and put them over there. Okay, I've put the clear packaging tape on there. I'm just pinching these bits to make them a wee bit narrower to fit snugly in the clips. And try and fit this. I need to put a little slot for the skeg that's on the back of the motor and the back of the there, there's a skeg there and one there, so it's just a case of putting a, a little slot and a little slot. Right, I've now covered the, the canard with some uh, Clear packing tape to waterproofing, just uh, marking it so I know where the centre is when I knock it off because it uh, can slide in and out. So you just slide it until the marks are lined up, and that's that. Oh yes, still not put there. The flaps on the back. That's a completed return long easy with the canard wing at the front and the power up 4 module attached taped on with a bit of masking tape to stop it falling off and sliding forward I also made a, an SR71 Blackbird version using the, the 6mm or 5mm foam more goes on it there again mounted the power up 4 unit on the top of that that was the original smaller version this one is 25% larger should fly a bit better, should have a bit more lift this one was uh, twirling a bit for lift with the size of wing but we'll see how it flies when we get some good weather at the moment it's a uh, howling gale outside. 